Good evening everybody, I'm back here on my channel for another comparison video. Of course it, it is a school night because today's Thursday, but um, it is what it is. So, anyways, I'm back again for another comparison video, which I'm going get this, to get this one out of the way. Which I'm not going to be comparing two different versions of Zoolander. On the left is the 2002 Special Edition VHS, and on the right is the 2001 or 2002 DVD, I'm not really sure when it was released, but I'm I'm pretty much highly likely that it could be 2001, but I'll, I'll look at it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. First up, as you know, this is the tape, which I got many times before at the Salvation Army. Of course, it stars Ben Stiller, in which he had a lot to do with this film. He wrote, produced, and directed this film, besides starring it. So it's very good and it says exuberant and insidiously funny by Kenneth Turan of Los Angeles Times and up here it says 3% body fat 1% brain activity part of the Paramount Pictures special edition series this is one of uh, my tapes to use that and you can decide you can tell this is a 2002 print because it has the 90th anniversary logo on there and here's the other side at the top and here's the back. Bonus features include original skip from the VH1 Vogue Fashion Awards in 1996, 15 outrageously funny promotional spots featuring Derek Zoolander. Well, it's actually Ben Stiller's character in the film. It's not actually Derek Zoolander himself. It's Ben Stiller himself playing the role. But of course, I haven't seen this film, so I don't know what to expect out of it anyway, but I know for a fact that it is Ben Stiller playing the role. But, nonetheless, this is still pretty good, and it says Unspeakably Funny by Elvis Mitchell of the New York Times. So now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the tape. Yep, here's the label. Yep. Of course, it mentions the 90th anniversary, and it has the Paramount pattern on there, even though I know you can't really see it, but you can kind of see it. And there's no print date. And there's the top, but just to let you know, I don't, I don't read the year and week codes on any of these tapes, in case you guys are wondering. I don't read them on any of these tapes, because I don't know how to analyze them, in my opinion, but it's okay. But of course, this special edition does have previews on it. I haven't put the tape in recently, it has to get rewound though, but I did check the opening to it, the special edition tape, and it does have previews on it. It has previews for What Women Want and Runaway Bride, and then the Stay Tuned bumper, the feature presentation logo, the warning screen, the black PG-13 rating screen, the format screen, the Paramount Pictures logo, the Village Roadshow Pictures logo, the VH1 Films logo, and then the start of the film. So now we've got the DVD, Special Collector's Edition, same critic review and stuff. So here's the spine. This is pretty much from 2001 because it has the standard Paramount logo on it. And here's the back. A lot of bonus features including widescreen version and the uh, Dolby Digital English 5.1 and English Dolby Surround. And Fr French Dolby Surround, English subtitles, really, really good looking interactive menu, scene selections, commentary by Ben Stiller and writers. De Drake Sassler and John Hamburg, five deleted scenes with commentary by Ben Stiller, five extended scenes with commentary by Ben Stiller, outtakes, two original skits from the VH1 Vogue Fashion Awards 1996-1997, music videos start the commotion by the Wise Guys, promotional spots, photo galleries, and alternate and title sequence. Yeah, so, sorry for the lighting, it's kind of, it's getting dark out and it's, the lighting's not very good in here. So, well, with when I'm recording this, um, it's the lighting's not very, not very good, but it is what it is. Of course, this too I got the Salvation Army. Of course, there's no guide, but here's the disc with the movie. It's a boring gray disc, like kind of like what Paramount usually does on their DVDs and even Blu-rays these days. Beginning in like 2006, 2007 or so, but this came out in 01. From what I know, uh, this is a copyright date on here. This is a 2001 release, okay. So the tape is from 2002, the DVD is from 2001. 
But anyways, there you go. That's my comparison of two different versions of Zoolander. And so I'll see you again uh, some other time. Who knows?